welcome back guys to the channel and on this video guys it's actually a special one right i'm basically going to be talking about a simple um, smart money concept three step strategy that could uh, improve your ability um, to milk the markets now as we call it right it's a three step strategy right so in those three steps including what um, including first is structure of course when you know we need to have um, a structural concept of what the market has been doing what the market is doing and what the market is going um, to do based on our anticipation of course and the second thing is that um, SD zone or um, or a block right that area in which we want to see price head into and expect a certain reaction from there in order um, to you know take our entries and head with the market towards um, a certain direction and from that the the last part is going to be confirmation right so it's a basic three step process of s s c which is structure um s and d and confirm right so we know that when a market creates a certain um, structural impulse right when price taps towards the s and d we're going to expect something to happen in here in order for us to take our entries towards um the market trend now what are we go what are we expecting to see here and what should we see here in order to get our entries that's where the confirmation part steps into place now of course let's get um let's get into the charts and see what exactly happens right so first thing is first um we need to have a stru a contextual uh structural move that we want to you know um be a part of and from that structural move um for example here um i had this so let's go to the three minutes just want to make this a little bit clear so we had this euro usd um, price action pushing bearish for quite a while now right now as you can see if we just you know have a um check on you know uh okay so price makes a low sorry um so we're just going to see um how institutional order flow is moving so far and you know what can you can we anticipate from this um, order flow so price makes a low comes up makes a high comes down makes a lower low right from this high high here and from this lower low price now comes creates another lower high and then price you know from there we're expecting price to come in and put in um and put in another you know lower low right because the market is pushing bearish uh so so far uh we've had these beautiful cells in here so as we can see we had this beautiful break of structure right here we had that beautiful break of structure there uh which you know made price come all the way up here towards this last um buy bef before the sell which is also our supply aka our order block and from there we managed to of course this was the news it came with above we had some pretty good sales in here but that's what i'm not going to talk about so you know from there we we're expecting that price was you know gonna head in and come to take out this low now lo and behold i'm basically gonna be speaking about today's price action so um so today's thursday right it's uh 16th um february so i'm basically gonna you know cut this market towards um where you know thursday when did thursday start or right there all right boom so this was today's market open right and what we know that is price has come mitigated our area of um supply or our order block right made um this you know this structural break to the downside to uh, to indicate that price has now shifted from bullish to bearish in terms of internal structure and we are basically looking to take out this uh particular low in here now uh coming in into um today's market what we had was this series of low highs and lower lows being put into place now mind you this is internal structure and when you're trading internal structure you need to be very careful in terms of understanding the structural plays because you know it price is constantly creating and taking liquidity over time so um with the proper understanding you can manage to you know not be a part of that liquidity now so we've had these break so we had that break of structure there price makes a low comes up makes um a higher low right by testing this area of um, supply there right and then price drops off and takes out this low again so with price doing that now we have a what another break of structure right here so we now have another break of structure right there that originated from um particularly um this high here towards this low here 
now basically what you know what we're expecting is price to come up here and you know mitigate so let's go to the uh, 50 minute chart and see where does you know where in this price action is mitigation required now we have the high and the low of course and from here we have decent spaces of imbalances now um you know like i said before uh in the in the previous videos concerning um you know these supply zones or order blocks right you need to be very careful when you're um when you're choosing them right now as we say that our supply zones or bearish order blocks need to be those areas where smart money last bought before they sold so we need to see the last buys before the sales right now coming into in, into this price action from this high um to this low of course we can see that price came down came up and then boom that move that came and took out this structural low right here so i was pretty much just looking at this area here as my last buy before the sell aka my um, bearish order block and from there that's when that's where I, I was expecting um, my sales to happen now of course um, as a day trader um, you could or as a scalper you could position yourself um, inside this intermediary bullish trend you know to get something out of this market from this area to this but you know it's not very much recommended i do not recommend it unless you have an in-depth understanding of what you're doing in the markets and you know the rest is just risk management now so from there let's see how pr what price does and um so from there price comes as you can see price attempts to, to to touch our area but it never touches it meaning what right i explained this in in other videos right so this high this this low high here is basically a weak high it's basically just a liquidity high that price is gonna take out before um giving us that confirmation to go bearish so f you know we we just keep on waiting all right we just keep on waiting unless i saw something like this and then that break there that's when i could you know have took my cells from there and you know um but that didn't happen and let's see what happened instead boom so price comes in takes out this um this high here and mitigates now with a proper and decent mitigation um in our zone now you know the next thing that we're looking that we're looking for is of course this is the high the, the low that created this high so we're basically waiting for a break of this low to indicate that price is now shifting bearish and then that retest to take the market bearish and targeting these lows uh so with that being said let's see what happened boom 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 oops okay sorry for that it's just a network connection problem so now as you can see um price has now stepped down and um has taken has taken out this low which is something that we were expecting as confirmation that you know a change of character from bullish to bearish in terms of this intermediary trend so that means now we can you know probably um look for a pullback into some areas here and then take our entry bearish to target this particular low now with that happening um let's uh play price out now mind you this was at uh, if you can look at the time down here it was at um 12 hours noon um heading to 13 hours which is of course at the end of um london session now i personally i don't trade london session i only trade new york session so i would in my trading i would basically just wait for my session to step in and that's when i would um, look for entries in my particular pairs that i was going to look at in that particular day so uh let's play price out so price comes you know steps in like i said and now let's go towards the um towards the um so boom this this right here um i think it's just the next candle there right so this is now um 15 30 hours which is the new york open and this is when now i i stepped into my charts and and uh took a look like hey um what's happening in here and i saw some pretty interesting thing right so from there so this was the low price uh comes in towards this area here this last buy before the sell mitigates it and from there price look at what now price does right so price now uh shifts bearish in terms of confirmation so this is now the one minute chart and then price attempts now to come and mitigate some areas here and of course from here price creates this low fails to come and take out this high and then breaks lower right comes up 
breaks lower again, even breaks this um, holding low that created this overall high. So from there, I was just, uh, you know, pretty much looking for that buy to sell, right? This little area here, which is, of course, uh, which I refined it, right? It was supposed to be like, you know, this is too, this is very big of a zone. It was supposed to be all this, um, this white candle here. But of course, I refined it into this last little white candle in here, right? The, with the pivot wick. I don't know what people call it, the doji or something. Yeah. So I refined it to that and just waited for price to now tap my my area and take my entry. Um, so from there, let's see now what price does. So um, price plays around, attempts to, you know, break um, bearish to induce um, dumb traders uh, who are suffering from FOMO to step into quick um, sales in here, right? Because people would term this from this high here to this low here as a potential break of structure and they would enter off of this retest and place their stops above this high in which in particular this high here is just a liquidity high that was you know obviously going to be taken over time with this mitigation and then price could now move from the to the opposite direction from there so um what happened is that price now played played around played around of course and boom right comes in with that huge momentum to take out all this liquidity existing above this high and of course mitigate our zone now that was my entry here uh, so that was my entry. I had a five pip um, stop loss because you know there was news in this session and shit. Okay, we're back. Um, I beg your pardon for that. My internet today is a little bit shaky, um, but you know it is what it is. So there was my stop loss. It was a five pip stop loss from this entry point, and of course my overall take profit target was at this low here. Right, so this is the beauty of smart money concepts, right? So it was basically just um, just about 50 pips there. So with a five pip stop loss and a 50 pip take profit target to make it a one to 10 risk to reward ratio trade. Now, of course, from there, uh, let's display price out and boom, the news steps into the market, makes making huge wicks and price just plays around, plays around, plays around. And there's, um, there's our take profit target being hit at exactly 50 pips, which is at this uh, overall low. And that was my trade, guys. Now, I hope this video um, was very informative to you. And if it was, then don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't, turn that bell button off for notifications. And until the next one, guys, stay safe, have a nice trading week, and peace out.